Hey, did you guys know that the population of England was three times as high as the population of the colonists? Dude, shut up. Hey, did you guys know that George III used the money in his treasury to hire foreign soldiers, mostly 30,000 Germans called Hessians? He also hired 50,000 American loyalists in India. Hey, look, I found a dollar. Wait, what? Hey dude, you've seen that new musket? No, I haven't uh, seen it. Oh dude, it's pretty cool. Oh, okay. I want to see that. I want to get the new Bowie dog. Hey, hey, what are you doing, your friend? Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, go America! America. Woo! Yeah. Woo! The Americans are pathetic. An experienced sheep herder could defeat them now. Go make me proud. Hey Sarge, isn't that your men down there? Not anymore. You guys are doing such a lousy job. I need food. Huh, we're still fine. I miss my home. Look, an American. Go kill that American. Okay. Um, he's not here. That wasn't that important. Look at that guy. Yeah, what a loser. Look at me, I got a promotion. Hey, I got a hundred dollars. That will get you anything. Bob, are you okay? Steve, before I die, there's some things I need to tell you. In the Revolutionary War, without the British support helping the Americans, firearms and gunpowder was rapidly diminished. Manufactured goods were nil and many were stuck in the cold with little food. The German drill master, however, Baron von Steuben, helped whip the Americans into shape. Black soldiers were becoming more common near the end of the war. Blacks were promised freedom if they fought for the British, so many went over onto their side instead of the Americans. But those who wanted to fight for freedom stayed. American profiteers sold equipment to the British who paid higher. They acquired 50 to 200 percent profit when they sold to the British. It looked bleak for the Americans because only a minority of the colonists were devoted to the war's cause. Why are you telling me all this? See all those people looking at us? Uh, hi. What's going on? Snake! Snake!